Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin, this is my co-host Teddy, and today we're going to be checking out the Corsair M65 Pro RGB gaming mouse. Now some of my longtime viewers uh, will have noticed that I've already covered this mouse before. I did the older uh, Corsair M65 and that was a long time ago now. That was when I was uh, first starting out. But I wanted to cover this new one um, since, well, I mean they added the RGB a little while ago with the um, M65 RGB. But this is the Pro model so this is coming with their new sensor so I thought it ought to be revisited. Now, I just want to uh, say straight away, uh, thank you very much to Chris over at Corsair. You're the man for providing me with this gaming mouse so that I could do this review. And let's jump straight into it then with the specs. So as I just mentioned, it's coming with a new sensor. So to replace the older 8200 DPI laser sensor, it's coming with a new 12,000 DPI optical sensor. So it's not so much about the added sensitivity there it's more that it switched from a uh, laser to an optical sensor which is going to be a pretty much a big upgrade across the board there and i would really um how would i put it i would really encourage you guys to check this out for yourself if you don't know the difference between a laser sensor and an optical sensor and you're someone that um, is quite interested in uh, gaming mice then uh, definitely check it out because It'll basically show you why uh, optical my, uh, optical sensors are a lot better than laser sensors in the vast majority of cases. Now it's coming with a thousand hertz polling rate, really really good there. It has eight programmable buttons, coming with a size of 118 millimeters long by 72 millimeters wide by 39 millimeters tall. It's coming with adjustable weight, so with all the weights in in the bottom there, it's going to be 135.5 grams, and with all the weights out, that'll drop down to 115 grams. So at 135, that's um, a bit more on the heavy side there, but at 115, that's about standard-ish, so you can either have it a bit more on the heavy side or about standard. And it's coming with an offset uh, braided cable up the top there, which is always good to see. Don't see many offset cables now, but it doesn't really count for anything, at least to me anyways. So it's just something I thought I would mention. Now, looks-wise, it's exactly the same as the M65 uh, RGB. So it's got, and, and which in turn is just like the M65. So it's got this uh, black or white look to it with a slightly rubberized smooth top and these more like abrasive grippy sides to them. It has RGB lighting in the front on the top with the uh, DPI sensitivity settings are and down the back where the Corsair logo is. And it's got an aluminium body. This is made out of aircraft grade aluminium. So that's really good as well. Very light, very good there. Um, I do quite like the body on this. It, it does feel very sturdy, very nice. I don't really have too many issues with it. Um, and it's got these big pads on the bottom as well for sliding around. So that's really good too. And looks wise, I think this is a bit more of an acquired taste mouse. Um, there's people out there that really, really like it. Corsair have stuck with this design for quite a while, so obviously pretty happy with it. Uh, so yeah, I think it's, to me personally, I think it's a fairly decent looking gaming mouse. However, looks don't count for much. What about comfort? So with general use, you know, browsing web, all of that stuff, um, it's gonna be really, really comfortable. I really quite like it. Your hand sits very nicely on it, so I like that also. It's just a nice, comfortable mouse to use, but it isn't anything special um, to me anyways in terms of comfort. It is very easy to grip, although I've said previously that I find the snipe button to be, it, it will start wearing on my hands after a while, like my, my uh, hand will start feeling a bit more sore if I'm using the snipe button a lot in the FPS game I'm playing. That just might be me personally, but it is something I have noticed with this gaming mouse. But generally, comfort-wise, I'm fairly happy with it, and I think it does a pretty good job for the most part in terms of comfort. Now, accuracy and sensitivity. So let's talk about this new sensor it's coming with, and it is absolutely fantastic. I really, really, really like it. So as I said before, you always want to go for optical over laser if you have the choice. Now 12,000 DPI is insane, and even on the older sensor, 8,200 is equally insane. I mean, most of you guys out there aren't going to be going over 3,000. 
Uh, so it's kind of irrelevant to you. But the fact, again, that it went from a laser sensor to an optical sensor is a big upgrade. So that was really good. I had it set at about, I think I have it set at about 2,500 DPI. That's kind of like where, where I like to have it, um, especially when I'm playing on a 4K screen, which I have been now playing a lot of Overwatch. Uh, so that was really good. And for FPS gaming, uh, it's fantastic, so accurate, so good, and I would highly recommend it. This is an absolutely excellent sensor coming in this gaming mouse. Moving on now to the buttons and the scroll wheel. So the button layout is uh, pretty good for the most part. Everything's uh, nicely put. There's forward and back buttons over on the left hand side. They're nice and easy to hit and they never get in the way. And everything else is very nicely laid out. It's coming with Omron switches. Uh, on the right and left click. I really like that also. Uh, always good to see them. So that's really nice. It's a nice clicky feel. The snipe button on the side is pretty good. You're going to have to get used to it if you're not used to having one. Um, but once you do, it is very useful for people out there. Just to help to lower the DPI down if you don't know what it does to make sniping shots a little bit easier. Uh, so it's not so jittery. Uh, so that's really good also. So I really like that. The big downside I would say with this game mouse is still the scroll wheel. Uh, I find it's um, a bit too chunky. It's really, really stiff and it's really hard to click down as well. So I'm not a big fan of it and I would really like Corsair to revise it and make it closer to what you'll find on say the Ducky Secret Mouse or say a Logitech G302, 303. Um, those all have very good scroll wheels on them and just, you know, quite a bit lighter and quite a bit softer. You definitely notice it uh, when I went from this guy uh, to my Ducky. Um, there's just a huge difference. The Ducky scroll wheel is just so much better. Uh, they really need to revise it on this one. However, it's not really a big deal at the end of the day for the vast majority of people, so it should still be okay. Now let's move over to the additional features. The RGB lighting is same as what you'll get on the M65 RGB, as I said earlier. Uh, it's gonna be good enough to get you by. It's definitely not the most fantastic lighting I've seen. I mean, it's better than what you get on some gaming mice like the Ducky and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's, it's nothing fantastic. I would just say it's okay in terms of uh, the lighting. Now the Corsair Q software is decent in that there's so much adjustability in it that you'll never run out. However, it is so complicated. Now, they have made improvements. I'll give Corsair that much. When I first started using the Q software years ago, it was absolutely horrible at first. You had to read their like 70 page manual just in order to use it. So it's been improved a lot, but it's still not as good as many of the other ones. They really need to look at what Razer's is doing, uh, what Logitech's doing, and, and just make it more simple. It's just still a bit too complicated. Uh, but it's got a lot of adjustability, so I like that. Which brings us now to the conclusion, and what do I make of the Corsair M65 Pro RGB? So, in terms of build quality, I think it's extremely well built. Uh, I really like this new sensor in it. Uh, it's really, really nice, especially for FPS gaming. It's just absolutely fantastic. It's so accurate. I think this is a good looking mouse from my point of view. Not the best looking, but it's still good looking. It has really nice button placement and the right and left clicks are really nice, really clicky. The Omron switches give you a nice tactile feel, so I really liked that. It has a nice braided cable. There's a snipe button there for all the FPS fans that really enjoy using it, so that's good. However, the downsides of this, the Corsair software is a pretty big downside depending on how much you like to use the software that comes with your peripherals. The scroll wheel still needs improvement and I would say the lighting is a little bit on the disappointing side, although I definitely wouldn't call it bad, but it's definitely nothing good. It's just kind of meh. So with the price in New Zealand of $119 at Playtech, do I recommend this gaming mouse? And I would say yes, but only if you're playing the majority, uh, uh, the, the majority of games that you're playing are FPS type games. So if you're playing a lot of say Overwatch, Counter-Strike, anything like that, a lot of FPS games, then definitely take a look at this gaming mouse because I think you're really going to enjoy it and it will uh, help improve your skills. However, if you're not playing a lot of FPS games, say you play a lot of MOBAs or, you know, whatever, you just play a lot of maybe different games, then I would really consider other options. That's not to say you shouldn't, you, you can't buy this or you shouldn't buy it. 
it's just the fact that I, I would say shop around a little bit more because this is definitely aimed at the FPS gamer um, and I would consider other options. I'll put it that way, like the Ducky Secret Mouse or um, something else if you're a gamer that's looking for a better all-round gaming mouse. That's basically the way I would put it. And I would also advise you to head to your local computer store and try this out in person uh, if you can before you buy it because it is quite wide and as I said earlier there is a bit of weight to it as well. Um, even with the weights out it might be, I mean that's about average but depending on what you're after I would really advise you to test this out first. But yeah, still a, a excellent gaming mouse, especially if you're an FPS gamer. I think you'd really enjoy this gaming mouse. Now I thank you all for watching this video. Please subscribe to Tech Showdown if you haven't already and like the video. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.